रशिया का एक एयरक्राफ्ट जिसका नाम है इल्यूशन टू कार्गो एयरक्राफ्ट आई एल वन वन टू वी एयरक्राफ्ट हैज क्रैश ड्यूरिंग अ टेस्ट फ्लाइट दैट इट्स सैड सैड टू नो वॉट हैपन ऑन सेवनटीन ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन द पायलट आर ट्रेन टू ऑपरेट एयरक्राफ्ट विथ वन इंजिन आउट दीज वर एक्सपीरियंस टेस्ट पायलट्स लुकिंग एट द क्लिप इट सेम्स लाइक द एयरक्राफ्ट वॉज आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल वॉट कुड हैव गॉन रॉन्ग वाई सच अ ट्रेजिक इवेंट एंड वॉट रिएक्शन मोस्ट पायलट वुड हैव लुकिंग एट दिस वीडियो हेलो एवरी वन विंग इंजीनियर यो to discuss exactly that by just looking at it many pilots would say it's a vmc crash now let us talk about the aircraft situation and i will try my best to explain it in layman's term so it becomes easy for you to understand if you are wondering that is it possible to fly a multi engine aircraft with one engine in operative yes you can definitely fly it is possible In most cases this emergency is handled smoothly by pilots also every passenger aircraft is designed to operate safely in each of such event in the case of India Lima 112 Victor it was something different pilots on board weren't so lucky the aircraft that they were flying was an experimental one so what exactly happens when one engine fails performance and controllability of the aircraft will be significantly affected due to asymmetrical thrust the pilot has to maintain a minimal control speed which is called as vmc now you might be thinking what is asymmetrical thrust and what is minimum control speed let's start with minimum control speed which is also called as vmc the minimum control speed of a multi engine aircraft is an airspeed below which directional control of the aircraft can no longer be maintained after failure of one or more engines and the vmc only applies if at least one engine is still operative now let us talk about asymmetrical thrust when one of the engines on a typical multi engine aircraft becomes inoperative a thrust imbalance exists between the operative and inoperative sides of the aircraft This thrust imbalance causes several negative effects in addition to the loss of one engine's thrust. When one engine becomes inoperative, a torque develops and the torque effect attempts to yaw the aircraft nose towards the inoperative engine, a yaw tendency that must be counteracted by the pilot's use of flight controls. Jab aircraft ke dono engine chalu hote hain, tabhi dono side equal thrust develop hota hai jiske karan plane seedha udta hai. जब एयरक्राफ्ट का एक इंजन बंद हो जाता है तो ये इंजन का थ्रस्ट जो है बंद हो जाता है और दूसरे इंजन का थ्रस्ट जो है वो चालू ही रहता है इसकी वजह से एयरक्राफ्ट में एक साइड थ्रस्ट है और एक साइड थ्रस्ट नहीं है इसकी वजह से एयरक्राफ्ट में एक यॉ मोमेंट आ जाता है अब इस यॉ मोमेंट को काउंटर करने के लिए हमारे पास रडर रहता है पर यह रेडर तभी ही सक्षम रहता है जब भी एयरक्राफ्ट की गति या एयरक्राफ्ट की एयर स्पीड वी से ज़्यादा हो अगर एयरक्राफ्ट की स्पीड वी से कम हुई तो रेडर के ऊपर जो एयर फ्लो होता है वो कम हो जाता है और जहाज को नियंत्रण में रखने के लिए मुश्किल हो जाता है एसीमेट्रिक थ्रस्ट के कारण रेडर को रेडर का उपयोग करने के बावजूद भी एयरक्राफ्ट जो इंजन बंद है उसके तरफ मुड़ने लगता है अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फुटेज इंडिकेट्स दैट द राइट इंजन इज ऑन फायर ड्यू टू विच देर विल बी लॉस ऑफ पावर फ्रॉम द राइट इंजन विच विल लीड टू डिक्रीज इन थ्रस्ट ऑन द राइट बट लेफ्ट इंजन इज स्टिल ऑपरेटिव ऑल्सो वी हैव नोटिस दैट एयरक्राफ्ट इज वेरी लो एंड स्लो मीनिंग इट इज इधर बिलो वी एम सी और बैली एट वी एम सी Operative engine was unable to generate enough thrust to keep airspeed above VMC. Theoretically in this case pilot should only descend and increase airspeed as pilots were already too low there was no altitude left to exchange with airspeed. To keep it short with the same thrust if you pitch up airspeed will decrease if you pitch down airspeed will increase. Ideally pilots had to increase airspeed here by pitching down. 
but we do not know if the fire affected flight controls. We do not know whether the pilot's inputs were even transferred to the control surfaces or not. Possibility is that pilot might have turned off the right engine as it is on fire and probably looking forward to single engine landing. As you can see, at a certain point the speed of the aircraft appears to be decreasing and at a point the pilot in command tries to roll to its right and that's when the aircraft gets out of control and rolls into a spiral and that was very unfortunate. It's easy to comment something from the comfort of our own couch but trust me handling an emergency is the most difficult thing. You have to fly the plane, follow the SOPs, make quick decisions and what not. It's aviate, navigate, communicate. As pilots what we prepare for the most is emergencies cause you never know when such situation arises in a routine flight. I am a commercial multi-engine rated pilot. During my training for multi-engine rating, I felt handling the plane with one engine is the most challenging part. If you want to see a glimpse of how multi-engine training looks like, feel free to check out this link and I hope you will be thrilled to enjoy the training straight from the cockpit. To conclude, was it the operational procedures, training, aircraft maintenance, design or it was the fire that affected control surfaces of the aircraft. Are the pilots to be blamed for this? We will leave this to the investigation. It's sad to witness such tragic events. But aviation is about learning from the mistakes of the past. A great pilot once said that some words in operation procedures are written by the ink of blood. Meaning someone died in the past for us to come to a conclusion of not repeating mistakes of the past. Hence, investigations are so important, we can never underestimate the blocks of lost lives that modern aviation is built upon. But as the aviation industry learned from each such event and corrects for it, aviation is one of the safest modes of commute today. Grateful to have this mode of commute for mankind. Here's a takeaway for you learn from your own and others mistake you might not have time in life to do all the mistakes by yourself if you are becoming a pilot value operational procedures sops they are there for a reason run through your checklist that's all for today good luck thank you for watching we'll see you in my next video till then keep hustling and working towards your goal